Chicago's Jewish community is already on edge after a Jewish man was shot on his way to synagogue on Saturday. Now parents here say they feel unsafe sending their children to Chicago public schools. Wrapped in Israeli flags holding signs demanding Mayor Brandon Johnson recognize fears for their own safety, Jewish neighbors huddled in West Rogers Park in the middle of an increasingly difficult week. Wednesday, it got worse when a Jewish publication revealed dozens of anti-Semitic posts on the Facebook page of Reverend Mitchell Johnson, Mayor Brandon Johnson's brand new hand-picked school board president. My son, every day since October 7th has happened, has experienced anti-Semitism in the school. Wednesday evening, board president Mitchell Johnson released a lengthy apology to the Jewish community, writing in part, the remarks I posted were reactive and insensitive, and I am deeply sorry for not being more precise and deliberate in my comments posted last year. Since then, I have asked for and received feedback from my Jewish friends and colleagues who helped me be more thoughtful in the way I address these sensitive matters. We showed Mitchell Johnson's apology to Alderwoman Deborah Silverstein, City Council's only Jewish member. I think actions speak louder than words, and um, I'm sorry, but I am not buying that um, he is remorseful. Governor J.B. Pritzker, who is also Jewish, wondered how Mitchell Johnson, who was just appointed to the board last week, got the job. Feels like a Facebook posts are pretty easy to find. Um, and so, you know, we need to, you know, you, need, you do have to ask a question who, who vetted him. For now, Mayor Brandon Johnson appears to be standing by his school board president. I appreciate Reverend Johnson and his apology and the work that he's going to do to to atone for, for, for his harm. So far, more than 25 city council members have joined Alderwoman Silverstein in asking for Reverend Mitchell Johnson to resign as school board president. In West Rogers Park, Liz Nagy, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.